let's give my band a big hand. Will you do that for me? I, I do crazy things with my guitar. No! And that was once I was trying to take music from a, a teacher in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. And I had learned how to just do a little something. And he looked at me and said, I can't teach you that. I said, well, I can't tell, come to your class. <laughs> yeah. Now, let me ask you something. They got some of the greatest guitar players in the world. Yeah. 
So a good time and how about it was ignored until B.B. King and Lou Walter. Long live the King. In case you didn't know. T-Bone. Oh yeah. He was a little bit full B.B. In case you didn't know. Yeah, you, you might know, but you might well, might not want to admit it. <laughs> you didn't know who Muddy Waters was until the British stopped playing the blues. Woo! When the British came here and stopped playing blues, white America stopped saying, oh shit, that's something new, and they had to tell you, no, it's not. <laughs> Do you remember the television show Shindig? When it was trying to get Mick Jagger and the Stones to do Shindig, he said, I'll do it if you let me bring Muddy Waters. And they say, who in the fuck is that? <laughs> and Mick got offended, he said, I named myself after his famous record, Rolling Stones, and you don't know who that is? Right. Yeah. Who cares? I'm just letting you know the history they didn't write about. See, they didn't write about black blues players until the British stopped playing. And they let you know who Ike and Tina Tully was, you know, B.B. King, Lightning Hopkins. Oh, yeah. This is Super John Hurt. And people suffer. <laughs> Seven album. And the reason, the reason I say six or seven is because what I'm drinking out that cup there. Oh, yeah. No, honey. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's why I just said earlier sometimes if you wait and get the truth, then you know how to speak the truth. She had the right idea, but it wasn't for Kavasi, you know. We love you, and keep teaching everyone like John and everybody. No, they, they know how to play the blues, but what I'm trying to tell you is that back in the days, white America didn't want their children to know what black blues was about. Even when Elvis came out, when Elvis came out, he was doing all the good of shit, and they was trying to hide it. Yeah. Do you remember the television show Ed Sullivan? Yeah. If you're old enough to remember that, when Elvis first came out, Ed, Ed Sullivan told him, say, I'm going to show you from waist up. Yeah. Because I don't want you shaking like the black people was doing all the fucking time. You know this? <laughs> yeah. So now you know. And I think you knew that too, but uh, it, it, you know, I don't blame you for it because it was, it was keeping it here. Why, I do not know, because like I, that song I told you earlier about the chicken and the egg and the hen and the egg and all that shit. You know, we knew that long time ago, man. Yeah. Like when I first went to Chicago, let me get off of that. When I first went to Chicago, 62 years ago, they had jukeboxes in all blues clubs, and if you couldn't play what's on the jukebox, you couldn't get a chance to play in the blues club and make that little dollar and a half or two dollars or two dollars making. And the first thing they punched on me, I thought they was going to punch Muddy Waters or how to move for the water, they punched Marvin Gaye. Woo! Yeah, and it, but he thought I was lost, I wasn't. <laughs> and he said, uh, I just can't do without you. 
Every chance you get, you seem to hurt me more and more. But it's hard to make my love stronger than before. I know if flowers can grow from a rain, I can love come from pain. And even if it's for kidding, Love you, baby, till I don't wanna see. Ain't nothing you do and say. Designed to make me blue. It's a dark old shame, my love for you. Make all your lies seem true. And if the truth make love last longer, what do lies make my love stronger? And if it kill me, that's a real love. I'm 
Yeah, like I said, I'm a man. Why are you sneaking out?